in this section i want to describe a very brief of the pathophysiology of hypertension before coming to the point there is a there is some terms which i required to explain one is heart rate heart rate is the beat of the heart per minute another is the stroke volume stroke volume is generally the amount of the blood pushes even after single contraction of the heart the next term is the cardiac output cardiac output it is obtained by the multiplication of the heart rate and stroke volume stroke volume and the other term peripheral resistance is the resistance of the blood uh, onto the blood flow resistance onto the blood flow by the blood vessels okay blood pressure is generally measured by the multiplication of the cardiac output and the peripheral resistance this is the cardiac output and this is the peripheral resistance when the yellow uh, color uh, drawing is generally represent the blood vessels and when the wall of the blood vessels is examined there is a three layer muscles the so the middle layer of the vessel is the smooth muscle as we all know the smooth muscle is generally contracted by the chemical mediator non epinephrine epinephrine generally adrenaline etc if the smooth muscle contracts the uh, space of lumen is narrower we all know there is more re resistance occurs when the liquid is passes through a narrow tube so that's why the hypertension develops kidney has a vital role controlling the blood pressure of the human there is another factor come into the come into play that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system in this system the blood pressure is generally regulates and when the blood pressure is low there is a decrease blood supply in the kidney so in the from the kidney jg cell the renin is secreted renin is responsible to convert for the conversion of the angiotensinogen in liver it converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 then by the a c e it converts angiotensin 2 and this is angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor as we already discussed that if the vasoconstriction occurs then the lumen space decreases so the peripheral resistance in the blood vessel develop that's why the blood pressure increases and there is another mechanism angiotensin generally converts aldosterone and angiotensin 2 if it acts on aldosterone and that aldosterone is re responsible for the reabsorption of so sodium chloride and as we all know the concentration of the sodium chloride in our 
body is 0.9% NaCl. Okay. If there is a increased amount of sodium chloride absorbs into the blood, there is the increase. Uh, there is required more water to maintain the homeostasis of our body. 0.9% NaCl, which is a isotonic. So the blood volume increases. The blood, if the blood volume is increased, the pressure is developed because even each single stroke, a hard hard amount of blood pushes after single beat of the heart. So these are the some uh, some basics of the mechanism of hypertension. So thank you for listening. This is so far and in the next chapter I want to discuss the treatment. In the next episode I want to discuss about the treatment protocol of the hypertension. Thank you. Thank you for listening us.